Welcome back, beautiful people. In today's episode, we are gushing over the beautiful and talented Nollywood sweetheart, Sharon Uja, who is officially a wife. 33-year-old Sharon tied the knot with her husband, Ugo Nyoke, in a series of ceremonies that showcase beauty and lavish splendor. Her stunning looks and dress choices gave off major body confidence. Her wedding was one for the record. The attention to detail was second to none. She dazzled at her wedding, showcasing multiple stunning outfits from her engagement to her white wedding. Every detail from the venue to the flowers was meticulously planned. Her outfits, hair, makeup and creativity were on full display and really reflected the extent she went to prepare for a special day. Every outfit was a hit back to back. What really stood out though was Sharon's body confidence and her fearless approach to fashion. She played with colour, went all out with sequins and rocked racy form-fitting silhouettes. Sharon wanted to stand out and dazzle on her special day and she absolutely did. Being the centre of attention isn't for everyone, but for her, she's made for the spotlight. She knows how to own the space and truly understands the glamour. She most certainly bodied every outfit and, of course, I was curious to know what work went into that body leading up to the day. What we're seeing here is a woman that leaves no stone unturned and Sharon's dedication started weeks before the wedding with a focused fitness regime that paid off magnificently. If there was ever a time to get yourself together, your wedding day is the perfect motivation to hit the gym and give it your all. You want to look your best and feel confident so you can look back proudly on how amazing you felt. What we're really seeing here is a testament to the power of imagination, discipline and determination to achieve one's dreams down to the smallest detail. In describing her love story, Sharon states that it was nothing short of a miracle. Having just recovered from what she considered the worst heartbreak of her life, she was filming when her sister mentioned that a friend wanted to speak to her. Initially, she wasn't in the mood, but her sister gave him her number anyway. As she got to know him, she realised he was really smart. Months passed and he continued trying to reach her. They had several cute conversations, but one particular conversation stood out. They spoke for about three hours, and by the end of it, she thought to herself, I think I like this guy. He proposed to her just three months after they started dating. When a man knows, he knows. The following clips are the workouts she did in the weeks leading up to her wedding. Sharon received personal training and nutrition guidance. In this particular video posted on Instagram, she mentioned wanting to grow her glutes naturally and shared various weighted leg exercises her trainer puts her through. Enlisting the help of professionals is a smart way to go when you want to achieve specific fitness goals, especially for major life events. Personal trainers and nutritionists have a lot to offer for you in the lead up to your wedding day. They'll offer you personalised workout plans, personalised diet plans. If your goal is to put on perhaps a little bit of weight in the lead up to your wedding day, they will tailor your diet to your specific goals. If it's to lose weight, they'll do the same. Within their remit, they can also advise you on food that you can eat perhaps to boost fertility, look radiant on your special day, boost your energy, and so forth. If your budget allows, it's really a good idea. Left to your own devices is that possibility that you'll want to hit the gym the week before your wedding and have yourself all stressed and frazzled. You don't want to do that. Let the professionals help you manage stress keep you motivated and accountable and have you looking gorgeous on your special day. In one of her videos, Sharon mentioned lifting 100kg on the deadlift and it just goes to show she's been on her fitness zoom. Going heavy on the weight is the way to go to grow your glutes. When you lift heavy, you are engaging the muscles in your glutes more, which results in muscle growth and increased strength. If you want that definition in your legs that lets people know that you're a gym girly, what you want to do and include more of are exercises like squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts, 
Bulgarian splits are really effective for targeting and building the glutes. You really want to do more of those Bulgarian split squats. The thing with growing your glutes is you've got to stay consistent with your training. You can't train one week and the next week you're off again. It's not going to work. Maintain proper form and progressively overload and you'll see the results. One of the keys to standing tall and standing out is having good posture. Training your legs can help improve your posture. Having strong leg muscles helps to keep your spine and hips aligned, which makes it easier to stand upright and balanced. In one of the clips shared, Sharon encouraged her female audience to take charge of their fitness, to focus on developing a strong upper body. And it's right, you know, women feed into the beauty standard and deny themselves the beauty of being endowed with visible strength. Strength isn't reserved for men alone. Looking strong or being strong and athletic are qualities that can be celebrated and pursued by everyone, regardless of gender norms or stereotypes. Anyone can be strong, regardless of their body size, but remember that achieving a defined back, a defined waist, also involves doing cardio. So that's eating well, watching your portions, watching the quality of the food that you're eating and staying active overall and not just focusing on one area with the mind of trying to spot reduce. Like you can't spot reduce fat simply by lifting and working that particular area. You need to watch your diet and include some element of cardio. Sharon hasn't focused much on traditional cardio activities like running or using machines such as a Stairmaster or elliptical. Instead, she incorporates cardio into her routine through weighted exercises like farmer's marches, medicine ball slams and box jumps, all of which do the work of building cardio fitness. Her focus on building strength and gaining muscle prepared her body to complement the dresses that she chose. When your muscles are toned and given what they're meant to give, your body looks firmer and more defined. This helps clothes look better and fit better. Let's be honest, who's really out here exercising not to look good? And to train for the purpose of wanting to look better is a perfectly valid reason to train. And there should be no shame attached to that. Because there will be times when you absolutely want heads to turn to edges snatch and your ex wishing that he never left you. And that's absolutely fine. Without apology, it's okay to train, to look your best and feel your best. And there'll be other times when you want to heal your body and see to any blockages where your appearance is least of your priority. And that's absolutely fine. There won't always be this happy, honky-dory medium, but we strive for it. It's important to approach fitness with a balanced mindset. It's okay to focus on both physical appearance and overall wellness. For those of you shedding for the wedding, how much did you lose and how did you do it? Drop your comments in the comment section and let's get the conversation started. Have you faced any negative comments from family and friends when you tell them that you're trying to lose weight for your wedding? What has been the response? Drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.